Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over some uh, cryptocurrencies and Ethereum, Bitcoin, maybe a couple others, and just do a uh, take on the damage that's been done, right, guys? The damage that's been done. It's just, uh, I think it's correction. I made a video about that yesterday, my case on that. And um, I think I'm going to be right. But always use risk management, not financial advice. There's a lot of guys following me on Twitter that are doing really, really well. Um, that's good. That's good. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to hear, I should say. But with Ethereum, this box target, I was like 1940 to, if you're lucky, you might get a wick down to uh, 1897, 1900 or something like that. But I think Ethereum might be working on its way getting out of there, guys. It could be. So the thing that I'm noticing too is Ethereum is up. And Bitcoin is down a little bit. Um, so let's take a look at the Ethereum over Bitcoin chart and see what's going on on the weekly. So I made a video about this too. And if you take the weekly, it's in this trend, okay? Here's the thing with the ETH BTC chart, guys, okay, that I'm seeing. I'm sure you on the oscillators, which is important. So it's down on the oscillator, or it's down there a little bit. And here in the weekly RSI is that trend that came, came down and it did come up and now it's back testing it. So it might stay above it. And this is a weekly chart too, by the way, guys. So it went up and then this could be the correction. So here's the wave where Ethereum went up and it blasted up from, I think, 880 to 2000. Um, I don't know if you guys weren't around. And for those that were around, sorry, I'm going to regurgitate something. Uh, in June of 22, Ethereum bottom and it blasted off. It like it took off like crazy. It surprised even me. It went from $880 to almost two grand, I think. I think it hit 2K um, in in like 60 days. So you did like uh, over 2X on Ethereum in 60 days. Matic was another one. Quant was another one. And there was a bunch of alts that were just flying during that time. And um, it was actually... In a way, it was actually a little bit more fun than it was now, because I think one of the reasons why is everybody was still saying bear market. They're like, oh, this is bear market, bear market bounce. I'm like, you know, I'm sitting here scratching my head going like, guys, there's like coins doing two, three X's, four X's right now. I mean, like, who cares if it's bear market bounce? Jump in, man. Make some gains. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, that's how I was looking at. Now, here's the weekly on the uh, stochastic. You can see on the stochastic from this point to this point, that point to that point, you can see that's more likely a correction. Now, could it swing back around and come back down? It very well could, guys. But And then on this oscillator down here, telling you it's oversold on the weekly, it's green. And in, in the trend, it's giving me a, 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 a green dot telling me that it's probably in a new bullish trend. Okay, So you have a good shot that Ethereum um, might overtake Bitcoin. Maybe this is time for it to shine. OK, once again, guys, and that means the uh, old coins like Phantom, um, you know, Gala's up 5 percent. Gala, I'm big on Gala, guys. I know some of you don't like Gala because of the tokenomics, maybe or something like that. Here's the thing with Gala, guys. I'm going to go over Gala is down here on the weekly chart. OK, Gala went up into a wave and it came back down into a wave and it's going to make another wave. So here's the deal with this over here is a nice impulse wave. And there's no way to get a flat out of that. So the reason why it's going to pump over here is because there's a 90 plus percent probability that it'll do another one. Now, what's the other 10 percent probability that it won't? Something has to happen. Like they have to say uh, they have to do something that ruins the project, basically, or maybe uh, a war. World War. Can I say that on YouTube? I'm gonna get, oh, I'm going to get shadow banned. I, I'm going to get shadow banned. <laughs> I just said a bad word, didn't I? You know, one of those events, man, everybody's doing that. So something like that would happen, okay? So um, Hexcoin is another one. Uh, it tagged the top of my box area, guys. The only thing that I'd be a little concerned with Hex is it hasn't been enough time with Hex. So what I'm saying is that you can see right here with Hex, guys. And this one, I think, would be a really good trade. I know some of you might not like it. So you got 77 days, it went up. 77 days, it went up. And then right now, it's only about 28 days it's been correcting, guys. So I would be a little bit careful with Hex right now, but it, it's it's a little bit, you know, that that's it's kind of in its own category because the community is so strong with Hex, guys. So 
that's how I think about that. But I think with Hex, even if if Hex gets into a uh, correct, uh, it finishes correction and it goes into a wave, I still think, let's say that the uh, crypto market isn't doing that great. I still think that Hex will go up probably over 20 cents. I think I got 25 cent target. So if you get it at five cents, you're looking at a 5X with Hex or 25 cents target. Could it go higher? It could. I'm being conservative a little bit, 20, 25 cents. But I still think Hex would even rip off a, wa a wave and, and get near those numbers, guys. Um, just by looking at this wave and the time that it went on, you know, it's, it's wave, it's weekly wave pattern is so strong. And it looks like one of the, one of the best on the weekly chart, hex chart is one of the best looking charts right there with this, with this start of that wave. That's really, really nice guys. That's, you can't deny that. Okay. The facts are the facts. I'm going off the chart. Um, other coins, you know, looking into some guys were asking about what's that one, that Zen protocol. Uh, or Zen, Zen. I don't know anything about. It. I haven't looked into it, guys. I'm gonna jump into this, but this one right here, guys, is is uh, you know, it's it's the same thing as as uh, as Gala. So it's it's ripping off a wave. Um, you do have some bearish divergence up there. So it's looking like probably one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, five. Here's your fourth wave. Now, here's the deal with this with one of these is that it might not make the target or it might just draw, it might waterfall. That's a problem with these smaller projects like this that are new and it's been in a pump and it's gone up probably looks like what, 10X? Yeah, it's gone over 10X. So over in this area, so if Zen protocols up here in a wave and you get into correction for a second wave, you gotta be patient. You gotta plan out your second waves. It can take a while or it can go short. So you just don't know. So if I'm gonna look at this, it's it's been in a way for 28 days, so I'm gonna expect 28 to 45 days in a second wave. Okay, just general bar park idea, and then you know this wave over here will be much stronger if it's going into a third wave. It's gonna be stronger than this wave, guys. So you have an opportunity there on this one. Not financial advice, and don't put your life savings into this. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know most of you guys are smart enough to know. Some of you guys are already in it, rode the wave, probably picked it up here, got there. Even even from there to there is pretty cool. You know, you've made a two two point five x, so that's not bad. Um, other coins, I was looking at Vi coin guys is another one I'm really bullish on. I was looking at the pattern, and with Vi coin or Vi it, it's an AI token. I'm bullish on the AI token, so I uh, I like Vi it the best. I like Heart Humans AI uh, a little bit better, but I'm not discounting the other coins, guys. Fetch is going to do well. Um, what's the other one? Let me go to my list real quick. Ajix and Ocean are ones. Um, this this one right here, uh, numerology or however you say this one. What is this? NMR. Uh, I don't really like that one, guys. Uh, I don't like the chart. I don't like the chart. Chart's no good. Chart's no good. So not financial advice. I recommend staying away from that one, guys. So let me go over Viat coin with you guys real quick. I'll show you. I posted this on Twitter because I was looking for the pattern that uh, Viat coin was doing, and it's making a nice pattern, guys. It's making a nice pattern, okay? So here's the deal with Viat coin. Viat coin the same thing as uh, Gala coin, right? It blasted up into a wave, and now it's in this correction area. This is it's building a nice support area over here. And the uh, daily RSI blasted up into its waves right here, came down and corrected it. Now it's over in this section right over here. Okay. But when I came over here, I said, hmm, look at that in the RSI. That right there is a five wave blast. It's a, it's a, a impulse move down to correct something. So what was it correcting? So in my opinion right here, I'm going to go to a uh, six hour chart. And I started looking at VIA. I don't think it's quite done yet, guys. You might get an opportunity down to eight cents again, um, which is a really good good shot for me. I think a really good price for Viat, like anywhere from uh, the seven to eight, nine, ten, even twelve cents is good, guys. I think. Um, so here's the five wave move with Viat, right here, five wave move, and I was like, wait a second, five wave move over here, okay, out of nowhere. But three wave up. So you take this, you take this move. This move over here is an impulse. So you got a three wave move. There's your connector wave, right? So your connector wave right here, three wave move, three wave move, and a five. So it made a flat. It, it, this is a really good setup. I think Gala is doing the same thing too, guys. Up into a wave and then a massive flat to get itself ready over here, guys, for that wave. Okay. 
That's how I'm looking at with buy it, guys. So that's a, that's a nice move, okay? Uh, I showed other videos about that. Uh, Veracity coin, I, you can't see it on this one. I don't think I have to go to the other. Uh, I have to go to the other chart to show you guys because um, this is not the whole chart. This is not the whole chart, but it was over here, guys. You see this move on on you see this move right here on veracity over here, over here in this section was a flat. OK, this is the end of the flat. OK, and then it went up into this wave. Right. This was a flat of the wave one. one and here's this other uh, wave one. OK, other wave one. And it came back down. And then you can see um, that flat move made a base for a veracity coin. And then you can see what happens next with veracity coin. Now, I'm not saying veracity coin is doing a wave over there, but I bet you with a lot of these coins that have the same pattern did the same thing. So I haven't even looked at veracity coin, but you can see right here, veracity coin could have gone up into wave three, wave move three, wave move five. So one, two. And that's not surprising for veracity coin that that wick was probably a good buy down in those areas for it, that it, it's, it's doing the same thing over there. So you got a, a one, two, one, two and a nice base for that two guys that's a really good what i'm saying is it's a really good signal it's a really good signal so normally wave twos uh, i'll show you guys are new to my new to my channel you got a a five wave swing for um you got a five wave swing right so we're over here wave one and this came up real high okay so this can can this is think about this this is confusing right you're thinking one two and then maybe another one two no, but it made a flat. So here, I'll show you guys here real quick now. Wave patterns. It's good to get into, into wave twos that make a flat, but you don't want to be in the flat. You want to see the flat and then get to the bottom of that wave five and then, you know, get into the three. Okay. That's what you want to do the best that you can. It's easier said than done. Um, why is my uh, screen not moving? Oh, it's because I don't have enough room. I don't have enough room. I got to go over here, guys. I got to go over here. Let me grab this. Okay, so here's the deal with it, up into a wave, and then you have a wave two. Normally, wave twos go real deep. They're really easy to find because they go down sharp like this. But sometimes you get a wave instead of like this, okay? You get a, uh, a wave two, it likes to go one, two, three, four, five, right? And then when they like to do this. They like to go flat like this, expanded flat. It'll come down in three, it'll go up in three, right? Think people still bullish. And then what? Wham, 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 bam. Wave two, like that, okay? So that's an expanded flat. Over here, over here. So now you got one, two, three, four, five, okay? So imagine that wave over there. What did it do? It came down to three. One, two, three. All the way back down there. And it made a little, another wave, like so. But then it starts shooting up like this. Wait a second. I erased my thing. I erased my thing. Let me go here. One, two, three. And it goes one and come like this. Um, another coin that did it is, uh, uh, what is it? Quant? Quant, guys. So it starts shooting up like this, right? Kind of like that. Sometimes they even go higher than the first wave. And you're like, oh, yeah, now I'm in the third wave. And then what? Boom, 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 boom. Okay? So you can see you are three, three, five. And I'm just letting you guys know, once you see a wave one with a flat, that's usually a good signal the wave three is explosive explosive waves guys because it, it build up it build up its base and then boom and then you know the wave four will be shallow it'll be it'll be quick with this big flat all right guys i just let you know that just some patterns to look out for some from time to time and uh so i think veracity is doing the same thing i'll dig into a little bit deeper but it looks pretty good to me guys a lot of the coins that went up like that did did a flat i think gala is the same thing we'll go over gala Real quick, because uh, I like I like Gala, guys. I like Gala, Alluvium, uh, Vulcan Forge, UFO Gaming. Okay, and by the way, too, uh, there's a guy that follows me on Twitter, Invest Storm October or something like that. He uh, he showed me how the same exact pattern. Go look at Floki Floki's chart, Floki Inu, and go look at UFO Gaming's chart. And Floki Inu did the exact same pattern. Just go look at where Floki, how much Floki Inu has gone up, guys. Go look, go look at that. Give you an idea. UFO Gaming and Floki have the same, almost the same exact pattern. So here's Gala wave one, two, one, two. And you can see here with Gala, um, I want to say it's in a flat too. I was kind of waiting for Gala to get down here. But here's the cool thing about Gala. If it just gets down in this area, it'd be a running flat. 
three, three, and then maybe a five down. They could be a running flat for Gala guys and be extra bullish. So up into a wave, this could maybe that's a three wave right there. I got to check into that, but I'm kind of expecting Gala getting in this area, guys. And then Gala can start getting out of here. Okay, so one, two, one, two, and then rip out of there, guys, like that. Let me check that uh, wave over there. It's got divergence. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you got a three wave swing here. And then you got an obvious three wave swing over here. And this could be the start of it, guys, right there. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe, maybe. Or if it's if it's done, it's uh it's very bullish, in my opinion. So I just want to go over those coins with you guys, let you know that uh, hey, it's not that bad, is it? You just had to go through a little bit of a dip, a little bit of a dip. And I showed uh my on my video yesterday. I was like, you know, Bitcoin went down. What was the number? Like seven or eight percent, or something like that, or maybe six percent. And then I went over here. I was on. I went to Bitcoin's chart, right, guys? So I was over here. I said, look, guys, this is like nothing for Bitcoin. Okay, there's no reason to panic, man. Like, go over here. Look at this. This is when Bitcoin was in a third wave. Look at this dip, right? Look at this one right here. Let's check that one now. You see, seventeen percent. And then these dips were even bigger. This dip right here, it went down 20% on Bitcoin. You see, guys, these are this is pretty, pretty standard for Bitcoin, 20%. Let's see this dip, uh, 12%. Look at all these little dips at Bitcoin in a third wave, guys. This is a third wave. This is like one of the most explosive waves on Bitcoin, okay? So this dip that Bitcoin did is like really, uh, it's nothing. It was uh, for people that were looking at the charts, probably going, wow, look at this opportunity. I got Ethereum under two grand because I made a video. I said, hey, you know, Ethereum might not go under 2K anymore, but hey, I, I was wrong. So now you got yourself another opportunity. You can pick it up right there at 1900, guys. 1900. Let's take a look at it. It's still a weekly red candle. It's not an engulfing red candle. So you can see this a weekly candle on Ethereum, and then the one next to it, it's not engulfing. It's still over the uh, support. It's still over the support. And let's see how this uh, weekly candle ends. Um, got a couple more days for that. And you might have a big, nice, big wick on the end of that. So unlike over here, at the end, you see it had a bearish engulfing candle right there. And this is just the opposite. So... Like I said, guys, I'm bullish on the cryptocurrency market, Ethereum and Bitcoin. And, you know, we had the dip yesterday and then the videos came out. Oh, all coin season's not coming. It's not coming. You know, guys, I think we are wrong. Hey, man, just go look at the charts. See if the charts are telling you right there. And that's looking like, hey, maybe it's going to get sucked back up over there, guys. And just check out down here. You know, if this can turn around right there in that RSI, boom. And then you take a look at your oscillator down here, guys. You see, look, right there. Uh, what was that? Uh, a bullish cross right there. And boom, you know, if this is going from here to here, okay? So here's the weekly chart. Here it was from here to here. Here's this correction all the way back down here. I bet it might be going probably back up there. All coin season. All coin season, guys. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace.